This is huge. So many in business want to be liked by patients. We want to be liked by staff. We want to be liked by pretty much everybody. And as a result, are a half-assed version of the person we should be. Sales is a classic example when it comes to the price conversation. So I mentioned Joanne and Nancy. Prices have, have, have gone up like a rocket. And the direct reason that that will happen is because they now don't, they don't need to be liked. That's it. If you really dig deep into why your fear of selling is, it's not because it's healthcare. It's not because you want to give away free treatment. It's because you're fearful of being rejected and disliked for doing so. And if you understand that concept and remind yourself that you don't need the person that is staring you in the face to like you in order to go to bed tonight, happy. What we need them to do is respect you for being honest, for telling them what the price is and what they need to do business with you in order to achieve the outcome that they want. And it's the same with staff. We're going to have a great session this afternoon on the support challenge matrix. Some of you will figure out where you are in the leadership matrix right now. Whether you're a protector, whether you're a, a too dominant, whether you are an abdicator, whether you are a liberator. And many times what you find in, in our types of businesses, healthcare, where naturally you want to help people, you become a protector. And you want to be liked naturally by people. Now the only thing that you can do is be aware of that that it's actually happening to you, that many of your conversations have been swayed by need to be liked. And I'm gonna encourage you to start swaying your conversations to be respected. I don't need you to like me. I don't need my kids to love me. That's not the deal. The deal is I love them. There's nothing that I signed in a contract on the 4th of October, 2013, that says this kid has to love me, but I have to love him. That's the deal. And much like with staff, I don't need you to like me. There's nothing in this contract that says me and you need to, to like each other. But we have to respect each other. I have to respect you and you have to respect me. These are my standards. This is what I expect. My job is to communicate that to you clearly, fairly, firmly. Be consistent. All of the things you would do as a parent. To my staff. To my vendors. To anybody that does business with me. What we're seeing more and more, again, as business is in here grow, we're seeing that evolution. I'm gonna keep saying it to Joanne and Nancy. It's the moving from I need to be liked to I want to be respected. And that type of conversation with a staff person, with a patient, with anybody that you're doing business with is what I want you to bear in mind as you move forward. Thanks for watching this video. And if you found it helpful, and if you now find yourself thinking, I wonder what else this person can help me with, head over to paulgoff.com forward slash books where you can find my best selling books which will show you how to add more profit to your practice. Or send an email to paul at paulgoff.com to ask about how we can help you accelerate the growth and profitability of your clinic. And by the way, if you know anybody who would find this helpful, please share this video out. Thanks so much.